For centuries humans have dreamed of escaping death. But now, some of the world's leading thinkers believe technology could make that dream a reality, possibly as soon as 2030. Ray Kurzweil, a director at Google, predicts we'll soon reach longevity escape velocity, where each year, science adds more than a year to our lives. Imagine a future where tiny robots and super-intelligent computers keep us young and healthy, but is this just science fiction, or are we truly on the brink of a new era? To find out, we need to explore the cutting-edge worlds of nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, the twin pillars of the quest for immortality. Let's separate fact from fiction and see what the future might hold. The tools we're building today are more powerful than anything before. So let's begin our journey into the science that could change what it means to be human. Are we ready to face the possibilities and the challenges of living forever? To understand immortality's promise, let's break down the tools, nanobots and AI. Nanobots are microscopic machines, thousands could fit on a pinhead, designed to perform precise tasks inside our bodies. In medicine, they could target cancer cells, repair tissues, and clear arteries, acting as tireless internal doctors. Artificial intelligence or AI is already transforming healthcare, analyzing scans, finding new treatments, and processing data faster than any human. Together, AI and nanobots could form a powerful team AI as mission control, nanobots as the workers. AI would monitor your health in real time, dispatching nanobots to fix problems before you even notice them. This combination could, in theory, reverse aging by constantly repairing cellular damage. Our natural repair systems fade with age, but these technologies could take over, rebuilding us from the inside out. The dream, a life maintained by our own intelligent microscopic creations, but how close are we to making this dream real? Ray Kurzweil's Roadmap to Immortality has three steps, or bridges. The first use today's best health practices to stay alive as long as possible. The second, the biotechnology revolution, where nanobots and AI patrol our bodies, destroying disease and reversing aging. Kurzweil predicts this could happen by 2030, achieving longevity escape velocity. The third bridge is the most radical merging our minds with machines, uploading consciousness to computers and living beyond biology. This vision redefines what it means to be human, blurring the line between flesh and technology. While uploading minds is still science fiction, the second bridge, nanobots repairing our bodies, is already being developed. This is the heart of the 2030 prediction, a biological and technological merger that could halt aging. It's a bold vision. But how much of it is grounded in today's science? Let's look at what nanobots and AI can already do, and what still stands in the way. While swarms of nanobots aren't here yet, the groundwork is being laid. Nanoparticles already deliver chemotherapy directly to tumors, reducing side effects and improving outcomes. AI is revolutionizing drug discovery and diagnostics, spotting diseases in scans with superhuman accuracy. CRISPR gene editing is correcting genetic defects, and senolytic drugs are targeting aging cells. Regenerative medicine is 3D printing tissues and even simple organs from patients' own cells. These breakthroughs are extending healthy lifespans, even if true immortality is still out of reach. The building blocks are real targeted drug delivery, AI-powered diagnostics, gene editing, and organ regeneration. The journey toward longer, healthier lives has already begun, but can we overcome the massive challenges ahead? Let's examine the obstacles. Despite rapid progress, immortality by 2030 faces huge hurdles. Today's nanobots are primitive, far from the intelligent, autonomous machines we'd need. Building safe, complex nanobots for the human body requires breakthroughs in materials, power, and computing. Medical regulations demand years of testing to ensure safety, making a 2030 rollout nearly impossible. There are also ethical questions. Who gets access? Could this create a new class of immortal elites? Overpopulation, resource strain, and social upheaval are real risks if people stop dying. Security is another concern. What if nanobots are hacked or weaponized? The complexity and potential dangers mean we must proceed with caution. The dream is alive, but the timeline is far more distant than some predict. So, what's the real promise of these technologies? We may not achieve immortality by 2030, but the journey is already transforming our lives. The real revolution is about living longer, healthier lives, defeating diseases that once seemed inevitable. AI and nanotechnology are making medicine more personalized, proactive, and precise. 
Imagine daily health monitoring, gene editing to prevent disease, and regenerative therapies to replace worn-out tissues. The goal isn't to escape death, but to extend our health span, years lived in good health and vitality. Instead of decline, we could remain active and engaged well into old age. More time with loved ones, more time to create, more time to contribute. The quest for immortality is pushing science forward, even if the deadline is more hope than reality. The future will be shaped by these tools. How will they change your life? Perhaps the real goal isn't to live forever, but to live better.